I, I met the Beatles before there was the Beatles. In Piccadilly Circle, they were playing in a club. Up, I can see the club now upstairs, and it was called something else. My manager, Bob Astor, bought the Beatles over here. They were with GAC. And uh, so Bob put me with the Beatles. I met them in Philadelphia. I had 18 dates with them. I had 21 days with them, but we did 18 dates in the United States and Canada, Montreal and Toronto, you know. And uh, we had three days down in Key West, Florida, off. We you know we had three days off, and we had a jam session down there. And during the tour, you know, Paul McCarthy and I was real, and the guy that played with a uh, sing with Bill Black Combo, we were great, must dear, we were great friends, you know. And I saw whatever I saw. It was so strange. They had doctors, Emmalines, and everything at these shows, you know. And it was, it was, security was so great, you know. And uh, what happened? <laughs> A girl in, in Dallas, Texas, I'll never forget. The crowd was so bad, they pushed her straight in the glass. I mean, she went through a, a glass plate at a hotel. You know, it was all cut up. Mm -hmm. In New Orleans, the policeman was playing football with the kids. They had broken the barrier, and the policemen were tackling them while the show was going on. And that's when the Beatles met Fast Domino. And my manager, Bob Astor, said, uh, Fast said, what, what do you think about the Beatles? She said, man, don't cut talk, they talk funny, <laughs> you know. Fast Domino was comical, yeah, he said the Beatles talk funny.